Sunday, April 29, 1945. Just got in from church and am now waiting for soup from the cookhouse before eating lunch. Father Mitchell preached one of his best sermons this morning on patience. Now that our bondage is no doubt drawing to an end, it was very appropriate. He gave us good advice on how to take our coming liberation. I got a lot of help from his sermon and I'm sure all the others who heard him did also. Last summer when the Allies were driving through France, we all thought, this is it. And we didn't mind telling anyone who was pessimistic they were crazy. Practically everyone quit riding home and began thinking about what they were going to take home. When the drive stopped, just short of Germany, morale dropped to zero. Didn't hear much grumbling from anyone, but we were all wearing pretty long faces. During the winter months, our armies made slow but steady gains on all fronts. But here in camp, the boys didn't have much to say. More or less forgot the war and settled down to the old camp habits. Reading, making pots and pans, washing and mending clothes, cooking, etc. I found that keeping busy helps you to forget many things and also blots out possible worries of the future. Hours pass into days and days into months before you know it. But now the old fever of restlessness is back again, stronger than ever. We might be compared to circus animals pacing their cages. Classes have broken up, the library is not being used, letters are left unwritten, all the old symptoms. Rumors. Have you heard the latest? The situation has its laughs, but another side also. We have a term here known as around the bend, meaning mental unbalance. Unfortunately, a few guys have already made that last turn, perhaps permanently. The strain on some of us is terrific, especially the boys who have been down for better than four years. They have been prisoners so long, they have just about forgotten anything else. I wonder what it'll mean to them to be free again. This adjustment will be great, greater than any outsider can understand. To sum it all up, I'm going back to work doing mostly sketches, and I'm sure all who heard Father Mitchell this morning will do the same. Then some bright morning, I'm going to climb out of my sack to find the war over. I'll be packed and out the gate and home, maybe before the realization hits me.